Okay, hey guys, welcome to Banjo-Kazooie. I mean, welcome to Game Trip, where we're playing Banjo-Kazooie. And I finally figured out... I finally figured out I could get the pumpkin, go into this little tiny hole next to the haunted house, and then it had a water level switch, which allowed me to come back over to this area, and... I don't know, encounter a freaking hole in the wall? I don't know, guys. Oh, I knew it was too hasty to hit the record button. I'm like, are you sure you're ready? You sure you just might not know what's going on quite yet? I see a rare box over there, so... Ah! Anyway, welcome back. Um, I just got done playing Zelda, and I'm like, let's plug in Banjo-Kazooie and give that a spin, because that game's fun. And then I realized I'm only, like, playing Zelda and Banjo-Kazooie right now. I, I need to expand my repertoire. So, oh, I found another, I found one of these buttons earlier and it raised the water level. Perfection. Oh, let, yeah, let's grab that. Now I'm, yeah, but we'll tell you and you'll know when my boot swings to and fro. That was a good one. The, the writing in this is pretty freaking hilarious. All right. Anyway, to those watching, again, sorry for the lack of uploads lately. I, I'm trying a new recording gimmick, I guess, where I where I do a lot of it on the weekends and stuff. Um, I'll still record during during the week and stuff, but I gotta get. A, I used to just record one a day, and then you know that was what I had. That's all. That's all the levels. I think that's all the levels. Yeah. Oh crap, we got a level, Rusty Bucket Bay. I love this level. I think it's the hardest one, honestly. But it's a fun level. And it's worth it. I'm not convinced I got everything in that room. Yeah. Okay, cool. Yes, Rusty Bucket. I love it. We're going. Finally, the fun levels. And, oh, oh, is this the other one? Are we gonna have like a choice here? Is this the Kids' Choice Awards? Where I get to choose? No. Foiled again. Anyway, so yeah, I've got this new job, and honestly, like, I, and I usually have a lot to complain about with jobs. I don't have a lot of complaints. It's a nice place. My coworkers are are peaceable, which is like, if I have that, then that's that's the best. Maybe I even could make some friends there. You know, that's cool. Um, I try to make friends wherever I go. You know, sometimes it's hard though when your coworkers can be like. You know, like, the, and it's not their fault, it's just like the job has made them grumpy. You know, and, and they don't have time to engage in, in those little niceties. So it's nice that we're all, I just sit in a room and roll joints with a bunch of guys, um, and one girl, and, and, you know, we just chill, listen to music and podcasts and st No! Already in the poison! My only water in your plunge, you'll lose air while in that gunge. Okay, so it's harder to swim in. Um, but my coworkers are cool, and, you know, oh, I know, some of these windows are not what they seem. There's so much in this level. You're not a lifesaver at all! You're a life taker! You put me back in the water. And where to even start? Where to even start? I never know where to start in this level. So I just, I just start climbing things, and, and here we go. I got the Ikamokum though! Oh! Okay. Can we go- can we go inside? Yeah. Right, you got all the crew's quarters. I love this level, it's so cool. Anyway, you guys will- you'll hear me-, hear me. I mean, I've talked about jo jobs a lot in this, um, in this playthrough. And if you guys hear me talk about it a lot with like a, a little bit of contempt, it's it's because I just I have a. That's nice. Yes, 
that part always screws me up. I have a particular, and I think it's, I don't know how unique it is, I, because I didn't certainly didn't think of it, okay? But um, I have not met any of my coworkers who express the same the same values. Um, like almost in my life, maybe a few times. Yeah, definitely a few times I have, but very rare, very rarely. And it's because I have a belief that, and this this I guess is getting political because when you're talking about the nature of jobs, I guess it's hard not to. I have a belief that if you work for a company, you should have own not only own a piece of it, okay. You know, maybe after like a 90 day period, like you, you want to make sure people aren't just coming in to take a piece of your company. But you should not only own a piece of it, um, but also have a say in how it operates. You know, um, like for example, like, you know, if, if you're on, you know, and this obviously, this can't be true for like for every business, like a hospital, for example, is very, it's very important that it runs a certain way. But I think at least we can make some changes to the nature in which that system does that system does run. Oh, I gotta get back up there now, because I, I need to hit that switch. I'm pretty sure. Um, and, and and I have that belief, you know, just one based on, on the research I've done uh, about human history and how we're just essentially bossed around by a bunch of big guys who aren't much smarter than we are. And that's been my experience in the workplace, is, is everyone's just usually bossed around by someone who doesn't know what's going on, a, a, more than anyone else at least. Oh! Now what is that? Okay, well let's just not forget that's there. I'm totally gonna forget that's there. Okay, and you gotta pay the tolls, which means you gotta have a lot of eggs. You know, and it, like, take my current job for example. Everyone, um, everyone really likes each other. It's a really friendly space, full of cool people. <gasps> okay, we can go in here. But as soon as the owner of the company left, everyone was just like, this guy sucks. He's an asshole. He's a baby. You know, he whines at everybody and doesn't do anything. And that's just what I, that was day one. Okay, you know, and, and that's the opinion that the entire staff. <laughs> oh well, it's I mean, how many notes did I even get? Like three. Fifteen. Well, I better make sure I go back and get those. I remember where I went anyway. Um, you know, and. There's a few of these owners. It's like a partial ownership by a few people and they come in and they're just, they're super pumped, you know, about their business and, and no one else is. And we're like, well, man, you kind of pay us minimum wage and give us nothing to do. Most of us just want to go home, you know? Everyone's in a rush to go home. Um, and he'll whine, you know, if you're a minute late, you're in trouble, you know, one minute, you know, as if it ever made a difference. Okay, you can't just, wait, what if I, Ah! I'm testing things out. Ah! <laughs> but he'll want us to stay, you know, sometimes 30 minutes after, after our shift to get his work done, you know, so that his business runs. And it's like, well, if you're gonna extend the contractual agreed time to which I, you know, have to be here, why can't you do it in the other direction and, and give me some leeway or something? You know, and I'm pretty punctual. I usually show up on time. Um, it just, I know some people struggle with that and, you know, you shouldn't have to sacrifice your whole job, you know, because you're a little time inefficient, I, I think. So I have some, I have some contempt for that. And I've worked for some truly horrible organizations. Um, I'm not afraid to say this. There's a place called Quinn Street and I don't know if they're operating anymore, but their whole gimmick was just selling poor college programs that would drain people's money and they would target low-income neighborhoods saying, you know, we're gonna help you get a trade job online or something. 
and then they'd send you to this dumb online school that was the worst thing I've ever seen, and, you know, the graduation rates were super low, okay? And, and we would just target low-income neighborhoods and get these people into huge debt, and that was my job. And they called me an educational advisor. Yeah, and... You know, I did it. I did it for a few months before I figured out what 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 was going on. You know, because they sell it to you like you're trying to help people. But after a few months, I figured out what was going on, and I, I brought it up to HR, and they were just like, "Well, it seems that your philosophies contradict our philosophies." You know, and and I was like, "Yeah." I'm like, "You're doing something horrible to people," and I'm like, "You should stop." And they were like. Well, we can't do that easy because we're a company and, and you know that whole thing and um hey a jiggy you know and after seeing so many things like that you start to build up a little resentment um for or for for organizations and you know and it's not true of everyone there are good organizations out there you know it is possible to run a business that respects people and and stuff like that uh it's just it's always it's usually put to the wayside in the name of profit you know making some more money any way you can um you know and i just i just i want people to be treated well mostly you know it hurts me to see my friends treated poorly or in, like i ran a place one time i ran a business or not a business i was i was in charge of a business i didn't run it it wasn't mine okay but my employees um I just, I seriously, I'm not even kidding. Wait, is this like Zelda? Three, one, and then two. And then one. And then three. Okay, okay, wait, we got this, we got this. It's, it's three. One, two, one. And then two. No, no, okay, 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 we got this, we got this. It's, it's three. <laughs> okay. One, two, one. And then one again, I bet. One. And then three. Damn it. Okay, we only got a few more tries on this. <laughs> I know the code's like written somewhere, but I'm just trying to I'm trying to do it my way. One. Is there really that many? Okay, we'll try it. We got one more try before I have to give up. Let's say three. Two. One. One. And then one? Yes, I guessed it. <laughs> Using the power of elimination, or the process of elimination, we have cheesed the game. But I never... Oh god, I almost died there. I never told anybody what to do. I would only ever ask, I would be like, do you want to do this right now? Is this, like, something that you think you would enjoy doing? And if they didn't, like, enjoy doing that, I would get them something else to do. Um... You know? Or if they wanted to do nothing, I would let them do nothing. Like, maybe they're tired today. I would let my employees nap. On shift. Ah! Kitchen monster! Okay, this refrigerator is enormous. There's no reason for it to be that large. Okay, how are we? It's a little tiny one. This is cute. Oh no! Stupid bear, you'll have to learn! That red hot ovens tend to burn! <laughs> Thanks, Grunty. Hey, can I cook some eggs? Can I get in the soup? Nope, being in the soup hurts too. You gotta try everything. What about this? This door seems like it should open. Ah, oh, shit. 
Okay, we gotta get the mumbo token. No, not that one. There we go. We are, wow, we are really pushing it. All right. Um, shit. Uh, ah, ah, no. Okay, so it just takes your oxygen while you're in it, regardless of if you're underwater or not. Okay, where's toll one? We're gonna do the toll, the toll booths. Anyway, so our- but the business ran like- like butter. We made plenty of money. Everything got done every day. You know, there- there really wasn't any problems. Um... But then they told me that I couldn't lead people that way. Like, it wasn't allowed, you know, and... I'm like, but it's working. It, it's working to just treat people with respect. And, and so I ended up with a lot of problems at that company, but the, the problems just came from leadership, and they were the people who didn't know what was going on in the store. They would always think of these, like, crazy sales ideas that never worked, you know, and I'm sure they had big college degrees and and spent a lot of time crafting those really eccentric ideas and stuff, when in reality they just needed to be in the store listening to people, you know, listening to the conversations the customers had and, and things like that, and they would have been able to sell that stuff lickety split um anyway so uh, it's 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 a lot so i'm happy to have a job at least you know i the, the boss again is another dolt uh with a d-o-l-t you know you've got to pay the troll toll if you want to get to this boy's hole that's uh some sunny it's always sunny in philadelphia <laughs> Wait, can I pay the toll again and make it go out even more? Okay. It's a bit more of a toll than I expected. It's really taken its toll on me. I think I read about this in, in a Tolkien book. I think I'll just pour myself a, a little toll boy. Anyway, uh, aha! There's the window I need to break. Uh, or do I want to get the notes? No. Yeah, you want to get in here. Ooh, a jiggy! I've yet to see a single Jinjo, though. Man, I've worked for so many call centers, it's kind of stupid. <laughs> you know, it was work that I was good at, so I, I just, I kept doing it, but the, the way you, you be good at it isn't healthy for you. <laughs> It's not healthy for you. It's a lot of, like, stress and false personality traits that no one should probably have for any kind of situation. <laughs> uh, I, I guess that's ultimately why, why I started selling weed uh, for my career, because I, I just wanted to do something that, that helped people somehow. Oh, I cannot. I cannot get on top of those. Yeah, get away from me! Which I truly believe it does help people. I mean, I don't think it's for everybody all the time. Uh, let's head over here. Oh wow, you can't even go up for air. Oh, good god. I hate this part. How much health do I have? A full thing of it? Well, I think if you fall in the thing, you just die. Like, that's just it for you. Bye. 
Jinjo! Uh. Uh. No! Oh, I'm okay. You can swim in it for a second. Okay, wow. Uh, that went better than I expected, for sure. Okay. I gotta be sparing with those eggs. I'm probably gonna need all of them. I did not know how fast those guys went. Ah! Oh, yes, 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 yes. Sixteen seconds. Shit, I messed it up. I'm not getting it. Okay, so that's how you got to do it. All right, let's do this. Huh. Go, 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 go! Yeah. And then get on chicken legs. Why did I do it again? No! <laughs> Oh, I almost got Banjo chopped in half there, I'm pretty sure. Oh, I would have been stuck in there. Okay, let's see if I can't make this jump work and get back to where I was. Yeah! That narrow pathways. Ooh, I hear health. I'm glad this game is actually making me take a little bit of damage now. Um. Because I, I don't want it to be too easy. That's kind of what I liked about this. Sometimes Zelda is too easy for me. Like, the enemies aren't very hard. Even even the complex ones you have to fight are, are pretty basic, and it's almost, like, impossible to die unless you're just not paying attention at all. Which, you know, I, I'm guilty of that a lot, so, you know, I'll probably die, but... Okay. Just notes. That's it. This one's not even open. Suspicious. I think there's a hole in the roof, if I recall. Damn it! Uh. Pardon me. Artemis! Damn it! <laughs> oh god. No! Every single one. Yeah, thanks. I've only got like one arm left. I'll need that extra life. Alright, we're doing really good. And I have a Jinjo, which makes me feel nice. Oh, he's one of those little pirate men. I can hear him. Uh, ahoy! Jinjo! They've been keeping you in the storage container! They gotta guard the Jin- she guards the Jinjos, because she knows if I have the Jinjos, I can screw her up. And you could say that, like, capturing the Jinjos is really Grunty's real crime. I mean, sure, she took Tootie, but I don't think anyone liked her anyway. And also, you know, that's just like one person, where she, as she's like enslaved this entire race of magical flying fairy creatures. So, you know, that does hark back to um, the movie, not the Banjo Kazooie movie, but uh, uh, what movie is it? What what is it? What what? 
Wizard of Oz, you know, where Grunty gets her name's, her, not her namesake, but you know, her whole green witch appearance. I don't, I don't think that was quite, uh-oh, conceived of, really, um, until that movie came out. Okay, we gotta go around the other way now. Explore the other side. Hopefully I don't run out of time. I would love to wrap this level up in one go, but I've only got like five Jiggies and two Jinjos. Every level in this game is fun. Like, I just, I miss these platformer sandbox experiences. Where you would just... Ah! No, I was... There's a dolphin down there! And a shark over here! And a door over here! Now, what do we got going on? Oh, right, 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 right. Pretty sure I've already been in here. I was not underwater. I've got to help that dolphin. Dolphins are the brain guys of the sea. Arguably, uh, I mean, I don't know. I don't know if they're more intelligent than us. You know, it might just be that humans are the only creatures that ask questions like that. That's really what I think. Like, more intelligent than us. Oh, come on! I fell in my own hole. Like, it is funny that the creature that says, I am the most intelligent, is the one that has established intelligence as a feature in the universe, right? So like, are we smarter than dolphins? Well, I mean, yeah, at being humans, but at being dolphins, we're way dumber than dolphins are. And somebody's gotta be a dolphin and they're doing it. So, you know, be happy you don't have to, unless, you know, you'd be into that, that kind of thing. But be careful, they are rapey. Not all of them. I'm sure, you know, it takes all types, but... Give me them notes. What's... There's nothing in there, just... Okay, can I go in the hole? Yeah, you can go in the hole. Okay, that's what you do. Uh, give me somewhere to land. And... Okay, didn't leave anything in there. Ugh. Get out of here. Get out of here. Bounce bears off you all night. Double kill. Sweet. Now the boat leaves. Having nothing to anchor it down, it crashes. Oh, it's worth getting them. It makes me want some of that honeycomb cereal. They still make honeycomb cereal? I feel like I was alive when that came out. And I was like, oh, what is this? And then I would just eat it all the time. You get some, some honeycomb cereal, and you drizzle it with actual honeycombs, or even just honey. That's a good time. That's a good time. All right, guys, well, anyway, it looks like I'm out of time, so we're gonna have to do this next time on Game Trip, but we'll finish up this level, and it'll be fun and rad and all those things.